In this presentation, we are going to look at the cardinality of a set. Now, the cardinality of a set A is the number of elements in A. And we write this with as A with the vertical bars on either side. I'll just come back to that notation in a minute. An important thing to recall is that an element of a set is any one of the distinct objects that make up that set. So I'm going to sort of... Uh, let's keep that in mind for one of the examples I have later on. Just a quick remark actually about the vertical bar notation. It looks the same as absolute value notation that you might know from uh, numbers. The uh, meaning of cardinality is entirely different in this case. For example, uh, if we have the absolute value of minus 4 there, the absolute uh, that is equal to 4. But as we're going to sort of uh, see shortly, the cardinality, when a cardinality operates on sets, we might have this set here, which contains the element minus 4, and the cardinality of that set is 1. Uh, again, it's because there is one element in that set. So let's look at some examples here first off. I have some examples here, very simple one to start off with, 2, 6, and 7. And uh, then we have a longer one there. So I'll actually, let's just do the first two. So uh, the first example here is how many elements in that set. Well, simply there is two, six, and seven. So there are three elements. And therefore the cardinality is three. Let's look at the second example down here. We have quite a few. We have quite a few uh, values in that data set. There's actually ten values there in front of us. But recall that an element is a distinct value. So these are the distinct values of that set. So two, five, uh, one, two, five, and six. So in that case, we have a cardinality of four rather than ten. So the cardinality of the second example is 4. So moving on to the next one, uh, the third example here, this is an empty set. There is a set here, but it doesn't contain any values. So it's not a, a typo, it's not a mistake. Essentially, it is not a contradiction in terms. It is simply that the cardinality of that set is 0. So the last example, we have four numbers here again so one might conclude that the cardinality of this set is 4 but let's be clear the this is a this set is made up of this is a set of sets so this is one element of that set and this is the other element of the set so uh, it doesn't have to be a set can doesn't have to be comprised of numbers it can, a set can be comprised of other sets so in this case, the uh, answer is actually two, that there are two distinct elements in this set, and those elements are themselves sets. So that is the answer to that one. So um, that ends our presentation. Thank you very much.